We're on day four right now of our little uh, adventure. We stayed in Hunt Bay. We're really close to Prince Rupert. This is one of our favorite bays. a lot of little cabins in it. fishing and uh, moving from pinnacle to pinnacle and seeing, uh, trying this spot, trying that spot and we've ended up about as far north as we're gonna go. We're right at Dundas Island. It's uh, basically the last island uh, or the last big island I'll say before we get to the Alaskan border. Um, so we're gonna try and see if we can catch a halibut here. We have caught a few fish. Uh, couple yellowfin rockfish, uh, two small lingcod, and uh, two quillbacks. And uh, actually I think I see something happening on my rod over there. So I'm just gonna check it. So I'll come right back. And we're back. So no, there was nothing on my rod. It was just a funny bounce. Um, but um, so I was saying that we're up at Dundas Island. We're actually just off of Green Island. There's a beautiful lighthouse there. We'll try and capture a picture of that for you guys to see. Um, we got a few fish in the bucket, like I was saying. Uh, we got a quillback. I'll pull one out and show you guys what a quillback is. So this here is a quillback. Uh, we're allowed one each a day. Actually, let me spin it around. One, one quillback per day. This is why they're called a quillback. So the uh, little stingers at the top of the fin. And uh, when you catch one of those, it swells your, your hand up a little bit and hurts. But uh, I've been told that if you poke the eyeball and rub some of the eyeball juice in your cut, that it, uh, like the anti-venom and it, uh, the stinging goes away. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. I've done it just because when it hurts, it hurts and you'll try anything and my brain tells me that it worked. So like I said, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't, but all that matters is if you think it works and, and I think it worked and it, it helped. But uh, we're allowed two, two of these, so one each, sorry. So Jen's allowed one, I'm allowed one. We each caught one today. We're allowed a two day limit. Uh, so we'll be allowed four altogether, but we're done with these for the day and that was the reason why We kept catching those so we had to move every time you, you catch one you have to release them back to the depth You caught them. It's a little bit of a tricky process using a descending device like this um, But yeah, you get them back to the bottom what happens is as you're bringing them up uh, there, There's an air sac inside them 
I'm not sure where exactly. I'm told it's the bladder, but um, it uh, fills full of air and then they float and they can't sink, so they end up dying on the surface. So when you hook them up to this and send them back to the bottom, uh, apparently they live. Um, so anyways, we started catching too many of those, so we wanted to move. So uh, now we're up here. We're still looking for our halibut. Um, we don't have the dedication it takes for halibut fishing that we used to have. We're always looking for an excuse to just run around in the boat or uh, go look at a beach or sightsee. So, um, you know, if we catch one, we catch one. If we don't, we don't. We still have some halibut in the freezer, so we're okay. Um, but uh, we'll see what happens. Quillback fish and chips. We, uh, from the ocean to the pan to the plate, all in about four hours, so it doesn't get fresher than that. Yeah, Ranger's pretty darn spoiled.
so it's the start of day six here. We're just outside of Prince Rupert. We're actually just right across the bay in a place called Pillsbury Cove. Uh, we decided this morning uh, we're gonna go out and do some adventuring. So we're gonna go out the Narrows out towards Tugwell Island and Lucy Island in our dinghy and just uh, do some walking with the ranger on the beach and some beach combing, checking out the little local area. Later today, we're gonna head into the Prince Rupert Yacht Club and spend the night there, and then go to town and you know get some supplies and some more uh, fishing tackle and stuff, because no matter where we go, we always need fishing tackle. And go through all the little gift shops. And we're not going to any <laughs> gift shops, but... <laughs> <laughs> One man's junk is another man's treasure. Big old fishing net up on the beach. Wow, what a mess. We made it to Prince Rupert. It was a good trip and we adventured around out in the ocean on our dinghy this morning. We're staying at the Prince Rupert Yacht Club and when we pulled up it was really nice because Kevin, the manager here, he helped us dock the boat, tied the lines. It was really nice because I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> I still had to do things though. Yeah, Derek yeah. still had to do stuff. <laughs> but thanks for your help, Kevin. That was yeah, awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. And we're going to take a walk around and look at boats right now. <laughs> 